The plan is simple. See, my buddy Eric has a farm. E-I-E-I, -E oh no. The chickens decided they didn't like being cooped up anymore and they want revenge. My buddy Eric is stuck inside his house because he's too afraid to fight the chickens back. That's where I come in. I'm going to build a game in VR where you fight off waves of chickens. Then I'll send my game to Eric and he can practice punching chickens. That way, in a few days, he'll be a chicken fighting machine and he can fight his way back to power. Uh, the only problem is that I don't really have much time. Every second I waste, Eric is being harassed by chickens. Poor guy. That can't be good for his self esteem. My name is Jeremy, and I've always wanted to make a game in VR, but I've never really had the tools to do it. Luckily, the Wonderland engine is a super easy way to make WebXR games, and you can develop them right in the Oculus Quest. That makes development way easier, and also they have a lot of templates that I can use that are really helpful. I got started just testing out the engine because I am brand new to it. I stole the monkey from Blender and put her into the engine. Slight issue, she's very big. Monkey. I went ahead and scaled her down to a regular monkey head size, much better. Luckily the engine is pretty intuitive, so I got the basics figured out really quickly. The interface is pretty similar to Unity or Unreal Engine, so movement around the scene feels pretty familiar. The objects you place into the scene can have components like physics or mesh or collision. You can also add scripts to each of these objects, which is how you kind of bring them to life. Since I had the engine figured out, that meant it was time to make our nemesis, the chicken. I doodled some quick concept art of those despicable chickens and got to modeling. Now that I had a chicken so evil I could punch it, it was time to get all the technical stuff working. The thing I like a lot about the Wonderland engine is that you can preview it in the Oculus with very few steps. Basically, you enable developer mode on your Quest, and then you download the Oculus developer hub on your computer, then you set up port forwarding, and you can preview your game in the browser of your Quest. Now that is nifty. Now, I need to get this out of the way. I am not a very great programmer. I have some foundational skills, but very little experience with programming in a game engine. To get started, I configured Wonderland Engine to use Visual Studio Code as the default code editor, and I got to work. I started learning JavaScript by following the tutorials on the Wonderland Engine YouTube channel, which they already have posted. They're super helpful for getting started, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for more stuff like that. I also read their documentation to get an understanding of like the API, which is pretty extensive, and it helped me think through how I might program some of this stuff. While I learned JavaScript, I also did some animations for the chicken to make it look even more despicable. Now, I can't punch a chicken without hands. That is a problem. I decided to take matters into my own hands, so I put my hand into Blender and then I rigged it and made it into a fist. It looked a little weird to me while I was working on it in Blender, but once I got it into the Wonderland engine, they didn't look half bad. Except, wait, th those are backwards. As my grandma always used to say, you can't punch chickens if your fists are on backwards. So I got that fixed lickety split by just rotating them a little bit in Blender and I fixed some of the issues with the normals. Now they're in and I've gotta be honest, they feel really good. This is one thing that stood out to me while I was working with the Wonderland engine. Developing in VR just feels like a whole different ball game. I have experience making 2D video games, which I thought was cool, but to see your own stuff in real life, like right in front of you is really cool. Now it was time to get started programming. I decided to use a placeholder for the chicken for now. Uh, it's just a yellow ball. It's very punchable already, even though it looks nothing like a chicken. I got to work programming the chicken logic. Uh, I did realize very quickly that I didn't really know what I was doing. I had a ton of questions, so I went to the Wonderland Engine Discord server, which ended up being super helpful. There's quite a few people who responded to all my questions and gave me some places to find more information. Very helpful Discord server, 10 out of 10 would beg for help again. In fact, I did end up asking for help even more over the course of the project. I got really quick and helpful responses, so for anyone out there who's trying to learn the Wonderland Engine, I highly recommend joining the Discord server. After a little bit, I got the basic movement down for the soon-to-be chicken that was now a yellow ball. It moves towards you at a speed that you can set in the editor. Can't wait to punch it. So far, so good, but the yellow ball doesn't fill me with enough rage. Time to bring in the chicken. Damn, boy, he's thick! The chicken was very big as well, so I scaled him down to size and replaced the yellow ball with it. You cannot tell me that's not ominous. Now the goal was to get collisions working at least somewhat and find some way to send the chicken flying. Uh, luckily there's a great example on the Wonderland Engine website for physics that has exactly what I need. They also have a bunch of other example projects on the Wonderland website, which makes learning new concepts like the physics component way easier. Anyways, I borrowed some of the physics code, but I needed a way to trigger collisions. I got to work programming that, and I ended up with a pretty simple message that gets logged in the console every time a fist overlaps with a chicken. Nice. For now, that's gonna suffice. This is how much I was able to accomplish 
accomplish in just a few days with the Wonderland engine with very little JavaScript knowledge. Honestly, it's crazy how fast and easy it is to start making games with Wonderland. And for people with more technical skills than me, you can make some really cool stuff. I'm gonna explore more of the visual side of Wonderland and make a world for my imagination in the next video, so make sure to check that out. I also make devlogs on my own channel, Jay Hunter, if you're interested in seeing more of the stuff that I've made. I will see you in the next one.